Hello everyone, in this video let us discuss how we can display linked issues on customer portal. So we all know what Jira service task uh, customer portal is. It is basically a web interface where your customers will uh, come and uh, they will raise uh, tickets. And uh, customer portal is uh, definitely uh, a very nice uh, feature in uh, Jira service desk using this customer portal as a customer. You can not only raise tickets, but you can also do self service. You can uh, search the knowledge base and uh, there are a few other things that you can do from the portal. In this video, I want to talk about uh, <clears throat> one interesting uh, concept of linked issues in your uh, process of resolving tickets it could be an incident it could be a service request when you raise a ticket as a customer your agents will then of course start working on it they will provide resolution but for some reason if they need help maybe from third party maybe from a different team they may want to link that particular ticket or maybe they will probably create a ticket in a different project and uh, a different team will probably work on it now in those situations, you may want to update your customers that uh, someone else is working on it. And uh, at the same time, uh, it can be done, of course, uh, manually. Whenever you receive any update on the other ticket, you can add a comment and you can let your customers know. Uh, but what you can also do, you can just display those linked tickets, those linked issues, maybe in a, in a different project, and you can display some additional information about those uh, linked tickets. So let us say we have this ticket where I'm trying to request for uh, an iPhone. Now, this is my customer view. This is my view when I raise a ticket as a customer. But if I log in to my Jira and uh, when I log in from my agent's account, I can see, of course, a lot of, lot of other details. And uh, one thing that I wanted to show you is this uh, link uh this these linked issues so if i want to display these linked issues on the customer portal i can use a script runner and if you remember we wrote uh, a script uh i made one video about it and in that video i showed you how we can fetch the linked issues of a specific issue and uh, we used this code it is a very simple code and uh, uh, we have been using this code to basically fetch the uh, linked issues. Let me first run it very quickly and let us see if uh, the, the code still works. It should definitely work. We didn't really do any, do any change with the code. Uh, so we can see here that uh, this particular piece of code is returning us two issues uh, of type outward link because uh, you can also have inward link. Now we are using this, uh, this uh, code to fetch the linked issues of this specific issue called Android 124. Now let us copy the, the whole code and uh, uh, to insert a web panel or to insert something like uh, a table or a list of issues, linked issues on a customer portal, you can use uh, script fragments. So for using script fragment, of course, you need to click on the script fragments on top. And uh, if you click on the button that says uh, create script fragment, uh, you can of course uh, select some uh, options that you have already like some ready-made options but uh, we want to insert uh, a custom web item or not a web item but a, but a custom uh, web panel so we'll uh, use this uh, show a web panel and uh, we will uh, first of course give this web panel a name so it could be linked issues on the portal and uh, we need to give we need to specify the location so location uh, let me search something like portal so you have something like a portal footer portal header uh, portal subheader so let us use subheader i think it's probably just under the header and i think it will be on top uh, of everything uh, in our uh, request uh, request type and when you look at a ticket from your customers login and we need to give this uh, web panel a, a unique key so this could be linked issues and portal and uh, for the time being let us leave the menu text and wait as it is blank 
and uh, before I do some coding here before I add a code here let me just uh, test whether this is working or not so I'll just uh, use this uh, simple message like <coughs> writer dot write hello world and if I probably do a preview preview looks all right I'll add it and uh, let us go back to the portal and uh, take a look so if I do a refresh I should ideally see some message somewhere like hello world so we can see this message on top this is good uh, one thing which I want to do is I want to display this on the right hand side like just under my approvals so what I what I can do I can go back to my uh, web uh, panel configuration and uh, and by the way if you don't know the location what you can do you can also enable this uh, fragment locator uh, don't do it on production it will probably mess up your UI but uh, you can do it on your staging instance or test instance and uh, once you click on the enable link it will uh, tell you different locations on the UI and uh, it is really useful it looks really bad but it is quite useful uh, for the time being I'll just uh, use uh, a different location that I remember I think it is something like request options if I'm not wrong uh, so request options basically we are looking at a request on or on, on customer portal uh, we don't really talk about issue types we talk about request types so let me go back to my portal and uh, let us re refresh this so we have this new hello world message on the right hand side now if I go back to my script fragment now we have to do some coding we already have a code which is a good which is a good thing we have been using this uh, code to um, simply uh, print the linked issues so if I copy the whole code here as it is I want to do things step by step so we already have a code here and we have this return statement I'll uh, not use uh, return I'll simply replace this uh, writer dot write with my output variable and the output should contain the linked issues of my Android 124 and uh, this code is not doing anything else apart from just fetching the linked issues of this specific issue key if I do a if I do a do a preview, I don't, I don't need to do a preview. I'll just quickly update it because we are doing uh, some testing here. So let us go back to the customer portal. Let us uh, refresh the uh, refresh the the page, the the request uh, that we're looking at. And uh, the good thing is that we are able to now fetch the linked issues of Android 124, which is not really uh, ideal because we want to fetch the linked issues of uh, ht-42 so I go back to my code and I will probably do some changes and I think it is interesting so we need to know the issue uh, the the current issue that we are interested in and uh, we need to basically we don't need this by the way we need uh, this issue variable to contain the issue that we are looking at right now on the portal so uh, there is something called as a binding in uh, script runner so if I click on the question uh, the small icon on the I'll probably uh, let me try to show you so this one this question mark question mark if you click on it and if you go up uh, you'll probably find the binding variable so these binding variables are useful because it will uh, help you in identifying uh, what uh, variables are there for maybe a listener or maybe if you're trying to do something with uh, a fragment for example so before I fetch the issue I may want to include a line here to basically work on the issues so I may want to use something like issue dot issue if I'm not wrong so I don't see any error message so I think it is fine and uh, uh, we need to use uh, so there is a variable called context let me click on the question mark again so we have this uh, context uh, available binding and uh, uh, it says that use this variable to get access to many other variables in the context so I think the current context is issue uh, when you're looking at the request type so what we can do here is we can define a variable and uh, we can uh, simply type in here is context dot issue as <coughs> issue so let us see if this works or not and uh, I'll update this and if I go back to my request on the portal 
if I do a refresh, let us see if this code works or not. Uh, fortunately, this code is working and we are able to fetch uh, two blocked, uh, not blocked, but uh, this particular issues outward links, uh, which is of course of type blocks and cloners. And uh, if I want to probably verify it, I can uh, go back to my issue. Uh, when I when I'm looking at an issue as a as an agent, I can see here that we have four issues here. So let me try to add one more. So if I probably want to add uh, one more outward link, I will uh, use uh, let us say causes, I think it is outward link. And uh, I'll select maybe Android 59. I believe this is all this is not linked to it already. So if I click on it, hopefully, if it is an outward link, it should be displayed on the portal. Let us see if this works or not. So yes, we can see here that we have a new linked issue. Now, this code is of course not perfect. It is just like a way to display the linked issues. And uh, ideally what you may want to do, you may want to display some additional information here. Maybe you want to add, uh, maybe you want to create a table, maybe you want to display the status of these issues. And uh, what you can do using a script runner, you can uh, always uh, comment on linked issues. And I believe we also have a video where we talked about commenting on linked issues. So if you have been following my videos, I'm sure uh, uh, you can, uh, I mean, uh, it depends if you're learning script runner. And if you know how to work with, let us say, issues, how to work with workflows, how to work with comments, how to work with linked issues, uh, you can use different things together and you can uh, build <clears throat> a use case to solve a problem. So this is all I wanted to share in this video and I hope you enjoyed and you learned something. Thank you very much. <laughs>